Good day. Thank you for watching. I'm Brian from Smart Caller. Today I'm going to show you the Safe Life Pendant. The Safe Life Pendant comes in this box and included in the box is a lanyard, a docking station, cable to charge the unit with which goes into the docking station and a wall mount transformer which powers the docking station and a small screwdriver to be able to open up the device to install the SIM card. This is the Safe Life pendant. It's about the size of a matchbox. As you can see, the button in the front is the SOS button. When you do push this, it does vibrate, and then you know you successfully pushed the button. On the side, we have the on-off switch, and can also be programmed to make a phone call. Just down here, we have the micro USB, which can be used for charging, but we prefer to use the cradle, and these points here are the one, points that make contact with the cradle while it's in it. Over here is the speaker and then down on the front is the microphone. We also have the LED lights on the side. The green lights are for the GSM network and the blue light is for the GPS. Programming the device is simple. All you do is send the device a text and it sends back a confirmation. The way that you install the SIM card is by undoing the three screws on the back, opening up the device and installing the SIM card on the inside. Closing the device back up, screwing it closed and then proceeding by switching the unit on and testing it. Programming the device, you just follow the easy manual. In the manual, it gives you a brief description of all the parts and where the buttons are located and what the functions of those buttons are. It also gives you a brief description of the LED light, of the flash rate and what they mean. When we get to page seven, it talks about programming your contacts. For this device you can program five contacts or less. You simply send a text to the number on the SIM card. You would send a text going A1 comma and the phone number. It may be 021 once you've completed sending the text, it will send back a confirmation saying that the mobile number has been set OK. And that will be usual for all the instructions that are sent to this device. You can program the device app so that on the side button, you can push that and it will make a phone call. You can decide which number it would like to go to. Contact number one, two, three, four, or five. You can also add a name to the device, which will make life a lot easier when the text does come through to the contacts that you have already supplied. When the device is up and operational, and you want to know where the device is located, you can send it a location request by just typing in LOC. The device will come back to you and send a text to you showing the location of the device. So sending the device LOC, you basically go to your phone, unlock your phone, put the contact number in the, in the device and type in LOC. -O 
and send. This message will be sent to the device and it will reply with a confirmation of its location. The device has replied to us and for this demonstration I have called the device Spark Demo Unit 3. It gives me the date and time and my location. All I have to do is tap the Google Maps and it takes me off to Google and shows me the location of where the device is at that time. There are a number of other settings that you can put in the device, be it the low battery alarm, the password lock, geofencing alarm, over speed alert, movement alert, the motion alarm, the GPS, check settings. By simply sending it a text saying status, it will send you back a full list of what you have programmed into the device. On the other page we have the fall detection. This is what the device is purchased for most times. You would simply program it FL1, comma 1 and FL9. FL1 being the most sensitive and FL9 being the least sensitive. You can also set the outgoing call control and battery savings. The battery is set to a default setting where the lifetime is 3 to 7 days. You can modify the time zone. In New Zealand we are plus 12. You can also send the device a reset which will clear all the settings you have already programmed in. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video.